Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali and you're watching this job video. Today we will make this cool, simple portal gate in Unreal Engine Niagara. I will make everything from scratch, every element you will learn in this tutorial. And by the end of this video, you will be able to create by own if you are new uh, this tutorial. Uh, if you are not new, you will still learn something new in this tutorial. So let's dive in. Let's start this. So as you can see, I have this map a dark map with just this mesh of portal gate and i have just put a light here this is point light i have here so if i turn this off this art looks so just a blue light okay so let's start our effects so first uh, i will make small coming out of this but for the, uh, before that i want to make something that like that fits into this uh, so what i'll do i just make a material and before that let's go here in the niagara take the empty ns portal and i'll just take the one particle so i'll just take the burst it should spawn one so in the life cycle i'll loop behavior once and make the life infinite by going particle state turning this off so you will have one particle that will be there forever and i will change the size maybe i don't know how much we will check so i'll just make it no, uh, local and put it here and see it's still small and also this is camera facing so i'll make it bigger maybe 300 it fits now but we have to remove that camera facing thing so i'll go here make the custom alignment custom where facing vector then i'll take this module align to mesh orientation by default it will align this on the x axis and if it fits it's okay if not you can change the axis so you can see it's it should be here in the center of this like this cool now we will make our material so what i'll do uh, let me just save all first M portal on a planar it should be transient unlit to sided I need a ring so uh, I'll just need a radial actually it should be inverted okay so I'll just take one minus so it will be black from the center but it should also be a ring that uh, cutting it so what I'll do, I'll copy this one more time or you can take the floor here and just make it very sharp by using density like maybe 500. So if I multiply this, let me just preview this first so you can see. It will be a sharp ring. So by multiplying this and this, you will have this thing which is from uh, from the center and like this. So first, I'll use this as it is. Let me check. I'll just take the particle here and multiply this for the opacity. And let's also use a power node here to decide how much I want. And a parameter power. Let me just save it. While saving, you can leave your comment if you want anything here. So let's browse this and I'll select this material here and see how it looks. But this is how it looks cool. I think this is not placed on the right position. Yeah. But I actually copy the position of my portal mesh and paste it on my FX. And yeah, it's absolutely in the center now cool so now we can decide with this dynamic parameter how much i want this maybe this much cool and then we can make this little distorted so it looks like some magical kind of thing so these are the two radials i used so which has the uvs here so it will take i'll take a noise texture Blur. I have a blur noise texture. This one. Let me show you how it looks. 
SLR looks. So first this should be also round. So I'll take the vector to radial node. If I preview now, you can see how it looks. And there will be a seam here. If you want to remove that, select your texture and use the flavor. Then it should pan inwardly. So 0.2. So it will go 0.2. It will go inside. Let me show you. Okay. Then for the tiling, I will multiply it with. I'll just take the append vector and I will multiply it x and y separately. So I will have parameter for tile x and tile y. I'll just rename this tx, tile x, ty, tile y. Okay. And then this should distort the UVs of these. But I will add this on here. And I'm multiplying it to control how much distortion I want. If I directly connect, it will distort it 100% and that will not look good. So we have one more parameter that will I connect here and I'll call this distort. Actually, we need to just distort the this one, not this, because this is just a mask of round shape. Okay, so we just need to distort that. Let me show you how it will look. So it's saving. If you okay, so now here, crash it. I'll just make this default and see it's distorting, but it's going diagonal when I'm distorting too much. So if you want to distort it in all direction, what you can do. You can see the radius of this is 0.5, which is default radius. So what I'll do, I'll delete this. I'll delete this. I'll take the lerp, connect this here, connect this here, here. Make this 0 0.5, 0 0.5, nothing will change. But if you connect one of these here, and then you can change the radius. So it will uh, change the radius according to the noise texture, and that will help like this see so now we can change the tiling like this we can make this maybe this okay looks cool so this is up to you how you want it actually so let's say i want it this much and i'll make this color maybe blue maybe two then I'll duplicate this and in this second layer I want first thing I want uh, this just to be 1 and I'll from 8.2 and then I want this little like this it will be like just fill okay so there are two layers that giving that so this is the our frame now i just want to add some uh, smoky kind of thing here and we will finish so now let's say i will use i'll just take the fountain emitter and what i'll do delete the gravity i'll delete the velocity also for now it has this shape i'll take the torus I'll make this zero and this torus is on wrong axis so go to transform go to rotation take this and now it's perfect now we can change the size how much we need maybe this much cool so now i will add velocity but linear velocity and this should be on x for now just let's say it's 100 Actually, it should be negative 100. So it will come in this direction. Close this. I will add little vortex also here on the x axis. Oh, x axis actually. Like this. A little less. Then we will use a smoke material here. Actually, this and smoke 
let me just find a smoke material. So I have this, although we can use sub UV, but I will use this, which is sub UV, but not sequence. It's just random frame from the Photoshop cloud pattern. I use it a lot in my lots of tutorials and I have also a tutorial how to create this. So I'll just browse this and I will use it here. It's 4x4 four four, but not sequence. So I will turn this off. I'll take here animation. Use random frames. So per particle it will take the different shape. And now make the size. Turn off the mass. Maybe 100. I will add little gravity, I think. Not much, but a little bit. It should look. And I think the vortex is too strong. And velocity should be also random. Like 0 and 0.5. Yeah. So it's giving a depth. All right, well. And now I'll make this also blue. And they should be fade in, fade out. Red point to 0 to point to its fading. Now we have this. It's giving us volume. You can change the size if you want, like green red. See? Giving us that volume. Cool. Now you can add little small particles in it if you want. So what I'll do, I'll just duplicate this. Let's say I just make this really bright, maybe some are 50, but the size is like five and one. Okay, and also I'll randomize the torus size. Let's say, Sorting one velocity, maybe small velocity like this, and I will also add some curl noise in this one, maybe 200. Let me animate this also. So, if I just show you this one, this is how it looks. Looks cool, right? So, we have small particles. We can also do this, uh, just copy this. I will use the point velocity and instead of going outside, it should be like negative, like this. Some particles going inside, some coming out and this look really good. I have one more down here. So this look really cool. It's very simple but looks very cool. So I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Keep learning and bye bye.